my lips. <laughs> hey, my lips. My lips feel like they bleeding. I don't know what's going on, man. Hey, what's going on, everybody? For First We Feast, I'm Sean Evans, and you're watching Hot Ones. It's the show with hot questions and even hotter wings. Yeah, Today, know. I'm joined by Kevin Hart. You're damn right you are. He needs no introduction. The new film, What Now, yes. comes out October 14th. Yes. And this ain't no Netflix special. You guys had a budget. Yeah, this is uh, this is the real deal, Sean. You know, we, uh, we went all the way. I filmed it at a football stadium, which has never been done. It's a dope thing to do. I made history, 53,000 people. And I actually put a, a mini action movie in front of yep. the comedy comedy yep. special that gets me to the special, so it's different. And before we begin, you tell this great story about how early on in your career you were bombing on stage and someone <laughs> pelted you with a half-eaten chicken It's 100% true. I think you yeah. called it the worst memory ever. A little sauce was on it too, some of that sauce got in my eye. He hit me with a buffalo wing. My joke frustrated him to the point where he felt the need to stand up and throw food at me, which is never good. You no. Know? It's never good. And I said, who threw it? You know, you expect it to be quiet so you can say some stuff to just look like you're about to defend right. yourself. And he was like, I did. And I said, well, well shit. Uh, good throw. And I'm just, uh, good night. I just got on stage. So chicken away. wings one, Kevin Hart zero. Yes. Are you ready to even the score? I'm ready. So this first one is sriracha. The first it should be easy though, right? Yeah. So what now is unlike any comedy feature I've ever seen in my life. With the sold out Philadelphia Eagle Stadium mm -hmm. looking like a damn Beyonce concert. You're damn right it does. You've said that you train like an athlete, mm -hmm. but you seem to be motivated like one too. You want to hang a banner. You want to put on the ring. For me, it's it's about history. It's about making sure that, that last name Hart means something when it's all said and done. You know, my kids, um, I want them to understand not only who their father is, but why he's in a position that he's in. Doing this particular movie, this is putting me in position to, to become closer to the ultimate goal. And, and that ultimate goal is just history, man. It's history, history, history. So this one's Tapatio. Tapatio. Take a bite of that, that ain't nothing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, top of tea, you ain't nothing, baby. Bring on the hot shit. Thinking back on your jobs that you had before you were famous, do you have fonder memories as a shoe salesman or that summer that you were a lifeguard? Summer I was a lifeguard for two reasons. First of all, being a shoe salesman was amazing. But being a lifeguard, that's where some of the funniest stuff has ever happened. You yes. Know, uh, a little boy almost drowned on my watch because I thought he was playing. <laughs> and um, you know, the other lifeguard from across jumped in to save him and he was like, Hart, what happened? I was like, I thought he was playing. <laughs> that was not a good excuse yeah, in your my, life. My thing is, that. kids play too much. <laughs> so fair, you fair. could have been playing like you were drowning just to get me in the water to go, ha, right. I wasn't drowning. It just so happened at that time he was drowning. <laughs> Lesson learned. This is El Yucateco Caribbean habanero. Who taught you the enunciation of this stuff? Goodness, what man. What would you call this? Uh, I would call it the E bottle. They, they, they start with an E. What'd you say? Is you could what? El Yucateco Caribbean Habanero. All right, we're gonna drink the Teco. See that? See how I just <laughs> nicknamed it? We're gonna drink some of this Teco, baby. So everyone That's knows. Teco? Mm hmm. This is Teco. We're getting hot, ain't we? Ooh. Mm -hmm. Going up, going up, going mm -hmm. up. We out here now. So everyone knows the Kevin Hart in 2016, <laughs> starring in blockbusters, mm -hmm. dominating social media, but I don't think a lot of people know how long sweet, and water. hard that road is. You know, getting paid in french fries, mm -hmm. sleeping in your car. And one of the strangest tidbits that stands out to me, she used to do gigs at a place called Sweet Cheeks. Sweet Cheeks. Where you warmed up the crowd for yeah. exotic male dancers. Yes. Yeah. First of all, I don't want nobody judging me. Okay, you know, my friends are looking at me different because they don't know the whole story. <laughs> Brother, this was at a different time in my life. Sweet Cheeks was a male strip club, and uh, I wasn't dancing. Right, you uh, doing audience work. Yeah, you know, I would basically, okay, let me explain it. Mm -hmm. So the strippers, they would be stripping, mm -hmm. right? And they would stop the strippers. They'd be like, all right, fellas, go in the back. You know, they got to go in the back and change. Right. So then they would go, while they changing, <laughs> Gotta keep we got the show some, going. We got some comedy. And uh, it wasn't really a good segue. It doesn't you know, seem like just, it would be. It would, it would go from the, the male strippers and they would go, introducing Lil Calf the Bastard. That was my name at the time. And I was on stage one time and this lady was like, pull your dick out. And I was like, wait a minute now. I ain't even about that. I'm up here slanging these jokes. I'm here for the joke life, you know? Uh, but they didn't want to hear that. 
the name of it is Pain is Good. I don't understand. It's not Pain is Bad. Well, what's the marketing behind that? I don't understand that. Okay, let's go ahead and... Mm-hmm. Oh, we out here now. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. So speaking of early on in your career, one of the first IMDb credits you have is this film called Paper Soldiers, which yes. is a very unique project yes. because it was this Dame Dash, Jay-Z, Rockefeller production. Mm -hmm. You star alongside Beanie Siegel and Memphis Bleak. Mm -hmm. When you look back on that project and that time in your career, what do you take away? That was a good time, man. You know, that's the beginning. Shouts out to Dame Dash. Um, <clears throat> Dame Dash saw me perform at Caroline's Comedy Club. He wanted to talk to me after, told me he had a funny idea. We meet, we discuss it. Uh, he said, I want you to star in it. He said, I got some other comedians. The other comedians and I got together. Charlie Murphy helped write and navigate the story to where it could become a real funny comedy. And Beans came in and we developed something that was dope. Like, it wasn't supposed to be what it was and it ended up surpassing what we thought it was going to do. And it acted as a vehicle for me, you know? Paper Soldiers is one of the reasons why I was able to get a tape and get management, you know? Go out and get an agent, you know? Just get people to see that there was a talent behind a comedian. So it acted as a reel for me at one point, which was good. This next hot sauce Shit. is the Hot Ones hot <clears throat> sauce. The what? You're on the Hot Ones show. So okay. You're not the only one enterprising here. No, this is y'all. You, this is the, okay. This is y'all concoction. Yep, this is our concoction. Okay, now how would you, it's in the middle, so it's not crazy like the stuff coming up, but it's like uh It's funny that you say that because it's a transition sauce. So it's okay. a little bit sweeter, it's not gonna, you know. It ain't gonna set my ass on fire. It's not gonna set your ass okay. on fire. Okay, all right. Mm -hmm. I think I still taste a couple of the other ones too, because every time I take another bite, comes the, back. Yeah, the fire come back. Like I'll put it out for a second, and then that should come back. Like mm -hmm. right now, I don't want to drink the milk, but I might have to soon. So this next thing is called Explain That Gram, and what we've done is we've done a deep dive on your Instagram and pulled a couple interesting pictures that we just need more context. We need more than the caption. We okay. need the bigger picture. I just want to show them to you. Okay. And then you let me know what's going on. Here, okay. okay. Kevin Hart and his best man. Oh man. That's me and my guy. It's me and my handsome son, man. My best man. The reason why my son was my best man is because he's my best friend. And I felt that my son should be there for his dad on uh, his big day. And before the wedding, he actually gave a toast. In the back, he gave a little quick toast. We really? gave him some juice in his cup, and <laughs> we all had a shot. He held it up, man. It was cool. All right, so this one, Squad Goals AF in South Africa. Yeah, yeah. What is going on here? Well, those are the two lions that I brought when I was in South Africa. I paid $16 million for two lions. You at all scared? I don't no, think I can do All jokes this. aside, like really being serious yeah, for a yeah, second. Yeah, yeah, let me know. So we're in South Africa. We go to the lion, what's it called? The lion, lion park. We go to lion park and they're like, oh man, we're gonna take you, Kevin. We're gonna show you the real deal. You got the VIP treatment. We're gonna take you out there with the lions. And I was like, okay. I don't know what happened. I blacked out and these guys made us feel so comfortable, but it was by far the stupidest thing I've ever done. It has to, it would have it's to the be. the stupidest thing. At any point in time, you gotta understand them lions can have a bad day and we all just lost sight of reality. We were in the lion's den, walking with the lions. Like, that's me really standing in between two lions. Good lord. Yeah, it was the stupidest thing I've ever done. Some all-star game hijinks. LeBron oh. James, what is he doing? He's taking your drink, he's thirsty? Uh, you know, me and Brian have a great relationship. I was at the All-Star game. I'm sitting courtside and I talk a lot of trash. And uh, I said something to LeBron and he was like, you had too much to drink. And he, uh, he took my drink. <laughs> he took my drink. <laughs> he cut you off. During the game, he cut me off and he, he took the drink down and he gave it to Drake. And then I just looked down and Drake is sipping my drink. And he's like, you had enough. So this one is High River Rogue. Okay. It's kind of, now we're going up a little bit. Spicy one. Catching you? Catching you? So I could ask you about hanging out with celebrities all day, but we don't have all day, so I just want to ask you about one, and that's Diddy. And when mm -hmm. I think about guys who are like no sleep and just operating Ooh. on this brilliant manic energy, I think about Diddy and I think about Kevin Hart. Do you feel like you connect on the same wavelength when you guys are together? Does this read true to you? Do you have a story that could kind of put that in a box for me? Uh, me and Puff are cool, man. You know, Puff is a dope guy. The reason why I say this is because He's uh, that, that this shit is getting hot. Mm -hmm. I don't know what realm of safety we are in, 
Uh, we passed it. But, but, there's some shit going on, man. You know, I don't know how this is gonna come out. I, I'm about to fucking shit fire. That's what's about to happen, <laughs> man. This shit is hot. <laughs> Puff is cool. He's, he's a, he's a most, he's a motivational guy. He's a motivating guy. So are you. Um, he's, a, he's a guy that always wants more. He always wants to go above and beyond. The same thing with Hov, you know? I can right. go down the list. Oprah, I can go on and on. Tyler Perry about some of the people that I personally look at. Steve Harvey, that have been mentors, that have taken me to the side, have had amazing conversations with me. You, you look at them in awe, but in the same sentence, in the same voice, you let them know, I want to get to where you are. I'm following your lead. Of course, I'm redirecting and doing things my way, but just know that your moves are being watched by a student. I'm a student of the game. And those are people that have played the game very well. Respect. Mm -hmm. You ready to move on? Nope, but I'm gonna do it. So this one is 100% pain. Why, like, here's my thing. Where, <clears throat> I, what, <sighs> shit. I, I'm not my favorite, we're gonna make it, baby. <laughs> if you don't I, mind, I have a question for Chocolate Dropper. Yay, got cheek implants. Look at his cheeks, they ain't real. That nigga got cheek implants. Ah, damn. So, in hip hop, there's all these regional reputations, <clears throat> right? New York's a little bit cockier. LA, you have the gangster rap. Houston, chopped and scored. Go to milk. <laughs> but your hometown of Philly is ground zero for battle rappers. Chocolate Dropper, in your opinion, <laughs> Why is your hometown so great at ethering people? I couldn't hear you, man. What? what? Why is my what? Why is Philly, in your opinion, ground zero for battle rappers? I'm asking Chocolate <laughs> Droppa. Mm. Oh, shit. Uh, Philadelphia. <clears throat> oh, we out here, Get boy. Get there. <laughs> hey, my lips <laughs> Hey, my fucking lips. My lips feel like they bleeding. I don't know what's going on, man. Uh, Philadelphia is just a, a hey, man. <laughs> I'm proud of the, just the, the stance that battle rap has in Philadelphia, you know? People know that we get busy. And I, I say we because I'm speaking on behalf of my brother Dropper. <laughs> he's one of the realists, man. I'm, I'm happy for that dude to see him come and get to where he's now got. And he's finally getting the respect that he deserves oh, yeah, as one of the realest Long artists out there. I thought y'all was saying look like it's gonna go away. Go ahead, let's do it. Just don't touch your eyes. Yes, yeah, I'm touching your eyes. <laughs> oh, I thought y'all. I was like, what? I'm bleeding. What? Here's my thing. When people create this, is it just to like? Is it just to? It's like, to it be assholes? Like, I think that actually is. When you get to here, you'd never put this on a sandwich. It's for psychos. It's for people who have burned out. I see why I called the bomb, because that bitch just blew up. <laughs> <laughs> One of the things that I admire about you most is your ability to always look at the glasses half full, to okay, take all these negative right experiences now, and turn them into a positive. So I want to give you a few between a rock and a hard place scenarios, and you tell me how you would spin it into a positive. Does that sound good? Getting booed off stage. Oh. <coughs> Woo! <laughs> give, me, give me a water, man! See me over here struggling? Shit! <laughs> huh? What'd we say? <laughs> Shit! You say what? So I wanna give you a few between a rock and a hard place scenarios, and you tell me how you'd look at it as glass half full. Sound good? Yeah. Getting booed off stage. Okay. It ain't that bad. Not that bad? All right. Here's how. But my tongue ain't, my tongue ain't working. Mm -hmm. I done lost taste. <laughs> this, this, I'm going numb, brother. Okay, here's the thing. It's not that bad. The reason why it's not that bad is because you learn from it. You can't get smacked in the face and just hold your face. You gotta go, oh shit. Well, just in case they go to swing again, how do I move and how can I smack back? Everything is about countering and figuring out. How about uh, ripping a loud fart in class in front of your crush? Yeah, hey, brother, shit happens. You got, you got to take that, baby. You know, that's, that's what I did. I, tell, I say that now. You know, that's how I got my wife. I'm gassy. I'm gonna be gassy today. I'll tell you that, fellas. 
What about when you do that thing where someone waves at you, but they're actually waving at the person behind them, but you think they were waving at you, so you wave back, and then you guys are kind of caught in that weird thing where they're like, dude, I wasn't waving at you, and then it's uncomfortable for everybody? Just put your hand in your pocket. Just keep them in your pockets, don't wave back at anyone. Yep. As soon as you turn around, just put your hand in your pocket. But how many times have you done this? So I've done this 40 times. You're number 40. Oh, shit. What's that one? This is Mad Dog 357. God damn. Hey, I can't even cheat. They got it all on. So it ain't like you can take a bite and not taste it. Full beverage. Oh, shit. <clears throat> we out here, ain't we? <laughs> Ooh, boy. Hold on, man. <laughs> I said, what you say, man? <laughs> this shit making me delirious. <laughs> Brother. That's what it does. I feel, like, I feel like I done did a drug, man. That's what it does. It gets kind of trippy. Yeah, I'm high. <laughs> shit. All right. Oh, shit. All right, hold on. Here we go. Shit. Mad Dog 357, huh? That sounds like a black dude made this shit. <laughs> so, there always seems to be two approaches to start fashion right and now? comedy, right? You can either dress like you and Eddie Murphy, guys who dress like superstars, but the rest of the comedians, they all dress like schlubs. Probably to seem more relatable. Can you tell me the process that you go through when you pick out your outfit for a sold out show? Cause you seem to think it through more so than say Louis CK. Well, oh shit. Uh huh. That was the one right there, boy. Mm hmm. That took you over the top. It's... I feel like my teeth coming out. Hold on, I'm about to answer it. I just gotta. Yeah, there we just go. gotta find it. I gotta get the answer for you, brother. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Oh shit! Clothes are very important to me. I feel like your clothes are a clear representation <laughs> of who you are. Uh, when I'm on stage. I love to feel good. I love to look good. I love to look confident. My clothes play a major part in that. I'm a stylish cat. So, hey man. Wing number 10, <laughs> Kevin Hart. Not an easy road to wing number 10, but here we are. Yep. It's tradition around here that we kind of like dab the last wing. You don't have to if you don't want to. I don't, I don't like to, to pressure people into it. Uh, you ain't gonna pressure me. Kevin, that's fine by me, I will, because uh, otherwise yeah. the people, they would be let down. But Kevin, don't I worry about it. You're really going it. through it, yep. You don't have to. At this point, Oh, shit. Let me read it. Yeah, go ahead. That's people's problem. They don't read. We warned this sauce contains ingredients 500 times hotter than jalapeno. Use sparingly. <clears throat> Not recommended. Yeah, like just a little dab. That's what you eat. That's sparingly. Just a little drop. <laughs> it's called death, man. Hold on. My fucking head sweating. Brother, my... Is it running hill? I'm out here, but I'm breaking down, man. I'm fucking. Man, I feel like a goddamn cokehead out this bitch. My nose and shit running. I'm sniffling the shit. <laughs> Hold on, man. Hold on, bro. <laughs> Yo, I'm hot as shit. <laughs> uh, he sitting here like ain't shit going on. You know, I'm over here breaking down, brother. I'm, I had snot probably coming down my nose. Ain't nobody uh -huh. said shit. All right. Ah, what one you use that? Is this the that's one? That's the one. That's the one. <laughs> Kevin, you don't have to if you don't want to. I know it's, <laughs> it's on there, right? It's already on there. It's All already right. on there. Right, you don't need just... to listen. What do you have to prove? I should have proof. Exactly. You bit it up, pose. You took yours already? No. You go first. Me go first? You go first, but I'm a guess. Okay. Why you got to make eye contact? <laughs> mm. <Shit>. <sighs> <sighs> right. So as we've talked about already, no, you right, train right. like an athlete. <laughs> no. Shit. Lots of miles on those hustle hearts. No. I see you on Snapchat, your trainer screaming at you every day. What vanity muscles would you say you're most proud of? Is it the pecs? Is it the biceps? In my physical prime, they were my traps. I had better traps than Brock Lesnar. What are you most proud of on you? 
Oh, shit. <laughs> hey, man, this, this is genius. What y'all, what y'all got going here is genius. Thank you, Kevin. You out here, bro. <laughs> you out here, ain't eh? I'm drunk. I'm, like, I'm drunk. I'm drunk. Something ain't right. Something is off, brother. Something is off right now. My teeth and shit all hot. <laughs> oh, shit. Wow. What I'm most happy about is my mental. Oh, come on. I don't even believe it. I don't believe it. That's the truth, man. I'm in great shape, but my mental is so strong. You can say you want to do things and don't do them. That's what people do. They mentality. talk about yeah, things that they're going to do. It takes do. a strong mental to actually put the actions behind it. So to wake up every day at 5, 5.30 and go to the gym faithfully and change your lifestyle and put yourself in a position to just be a healthier person, live a healthier lifestyle, set an example for other people to see and to inspire and motivate others, I think that's, that's dope. You know, the physical transformation, I'm, I'm happy about it. I'm happy that I'm a fit person, but I'm more proud of... The muscle my, up here. Yeah, man, my mind. I got a strong, I got a strong mental. Kevin, you hey, made buddy. it through. Hey, it was an incredible performance. The floor is yours. 30 seconds with this camera, that camera, that camera. Let the people know what you have going on in your life. Okay, first and foremost, I want to give a shout out to you guys. Thank you for having me on. Thank you for coming, Kevin. Uh, it's, a, it's a dope, it's a dope idea. I heard about it for a long time, but I, I get it. You're doing an amazing job. Um, now I take the time to address the people. Look, guys, I put a lot of hard work, blood, sweat, and tears into my craft, okay? I'm determined to make this last name Hart mean something. The best way for me to put myself in a position to make history is to do what I do best, and that's tell jokes. I love comedy. I'm a stand-up comedian until I die. What now? is the finest comedic work that I have. Go out, go see the movie, man. It's worth it. October 14th, help me make history. Help this last name mean something. Hart, Kevin Hart. That was dope.